Right, it is time to move on to our next session where we're going to be looking at awards and funding mechanisms. So um, to promote open science and RRI practices. Um, and we're gonna be looking at some that have been tested during the Orion project. One example is an award scheme from Spain and the other is a funding call from the Czech Republic. So um, first up, I would like to invite Iris San Pedro, who is a technical officer at the Instituto de Salud Carlos III in Spain, that, who has been running the RRI Health Awards, um, an RRI prize, a competition launched among its, its health research institutes to recognize and promote the principles of RRI in their activities. So Iris, over to you, five minutes. <laughs> oh, you're muted. <laughs> Do you want to put onto the presentation view as well? You're still muted, that's it. There we go, right. Do you want to do presenter, presenter view as well? That might be easier, People can, bigger screen. Okay, perfect. So uh, for me personally, it has been a pleasure to participate in this project. And I would like to thank to Alex and Miquela, to my colleague, Laura Moedano, and Esther Rodriguez, and of course, to Emma Martinez uh, to support me. Well, uh, we prepare uh, health awards, the RRI Health Awards in ISTI. Uh, this is uh, the objectives of the prizes. This is the starting point, uh, our task. The objectives why was recon are recognize, encourage, promote, and disseminate best practice. Uh, this means projects that have already done, completed by health research institutes. Health, health research institutes are a flagship on research and innovation here in Spain. They are clusters performing research and innovation and biomedicine and health. They are dedicated to basic and applied research and have a particular composition. Uh, on one hand, a hospital, which is the basis of the, uh, of the structure and the institute uh, are also a university or are a research uh, organization, public or private. Uh, nowadays, they have 31 institutes with uh, 162 institutions and more than uh, 2,000 uh, to, to 24,000, sorry, uh, researchers. Thank you, Ben Liberton, for the map. How to do that? Well, the first step was a call publication, after that, call, the second call for proposals, peer review, jury evaluation, and finally, uh, an award ceremony by ASU. Uh, <clears throat> the first step uh, was to publish the call and get the information to those involved. The, the, the institutes. The second step, sorry, in, the, in this uh, step, sorry, it was prepared many dissemination documents because I think the dissemination is a key element. The call for proposal, uh, the second one is a doing an institutional platform for safety and quality. And uh, the results are uh, quite good for us. Uh, the the six, 26 proposals from 18 institutes. That implies a, particip a participation rate of more than 50%, 50%, sorry, in which 70% of the regions participate. We, we received proposals from all the areas of RRA. Uh, this is a good point for us too. And with gender balance. The peer review evaluation, uh, it was uh, about, uh, uh, throughout evaluation platform, institutional evalu evaluation platform. Uh, I would like to thank to the, all the evaluators at this moment too. And finally, uh, the jury. And you can see here all the members of the jury. Finally, three uh, awarded uh, institutes. The impact of, this, of, of these awards was in the IMIBIC, the creation of a new communication unit. In the IMIM, the, the sustainability of the research involved, and in the Foundation uh, Jimenez Diaz, the improvement of ethical trainings and supporting for the ethics department. Our conclusions for us for the National Health Institute Carlos III are the RRA Health Awards are a wake up on the RRA awareness in the Health Research Institute. A great dissemination material about RRA has a key in 26 videos realized. Uh, from the Health Research uh, Institute for the awards. 
And these awards have given the opportunity to work together to different departments in ISTE that became as more porous and more open. That's additional material, our, our video from our health awards and the, 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 many, the, different, many, the different videos, sorry, <laughs> from many institutions, IMIM, IMIVIC, and many of the foundation. That's all, thank you very much. Thanks, Harris. Right, let's go over to the Czech Republic now and Michael Dolitzel, who is project manager for the South Moravian Center for International Mobility, JCMN, the Czech Republic, and they've been running a regional student competition, um, which is a regional call for open science projects on local societal challenges. And I believe it provided grants for 10 projects that demonstrated open science attributes. So Michael, over to you to tell us a little bit about what you've been doing. Okay, good afternoon to everybody. I'll try to share my screen, hopefully. Okay. So can you see the screen, please? Hello? Yeah, it, it, yes, it's in the, um, um, uh, can you make it into present into the sort of whole presenting screen view at all? I can see it in the presentation mode. Yeah, okay, I think we can probably read that, that's fine. Okay. I think there's a, although, although you may want to swap the view to um, presenter view. Okay, uh, well, I can, I, sorry, I, I see the, 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 the full screen. So I hope you can, you can see it as well um, or not. We can see your, I think it's in the, I think it's in the speaker views, but um, I think generally if, if it might be all right for everyone, if you okay. can, if you're not uh, sure. Sorry. What so uh, anyway, uh, uh, here is a, a brief information about the competition we had within the Orion, uh, a short introduction, we are uh, technically a RFPO, we were established in 2005. And the uh, prime <clears throat> aim was to help students, researchers, and scientists in the region of South uh, uh, Moravian region uh, to encourage science education, etc. So this competition was organized as a as a part of the Orion program, and the idea uh, and the applicants were uh, Brno masters and doctoral students uh, from universities in the South Moravian region. And uh, the, the, uh, within the competition, they uh, should uh, introduce a project with elements of uh, open science. Uh, we uh, define six research domains, and also we uh, requested the, uh, requested the uh, applicants to focus on uh, local challenges. And the uh, funds were available for 10 winners and the duration of the projects were uh, nine months. Uh, so uh, in, uh, at the end of 2018, uh, we prepared the call for projects and we also- Sorry, Michael, uh, your slides aren't moving on. <laughs> my slides aren't moving on? No. Are not moving on? No. And we're also seeing the two, we're seeing the next slide as well. I think, is it possible to change the mode so it's presenting? If you've got, if you've got a problem, I've got a colleague who, oh, there we go. Is it better now? An aeroplane, is that right? No, we've got. Okay, I've got um, a colleague. Do you want, do you want to, um, if you stop sharing um, your screen, I've got a colleague, uh, Maria, who is on hand to share this, share the slides. So she'll be able to do it for you. And then if you want to. Yeah. Okay. So this is the, okay. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. So this should, this should work. So uh, we organized, uh, we organized uh, the competition in 2018. And uh, 
also uh, at the beginning of 2019, uh, we uh, had the formal requirements check. And as a new feature, there was the open public review, uh, which means that we anonymized all the around 60 uh, submitted proposals and uh, open then for uh, public, uh, public evaluation and public comments. And after that, we organized the experts uh, review and we asked also the experts to take into the consideration the uh, public review. Uh, then we selected uh, 10 uh, winners uh, upon, the, upon the reviews and, um, and we had the uh, projects from uh, May 2019 to February 20, and the uh, final round table was held in March 9, uh, which was a, a perfect timing because four days after uh, that, uh, the, the country uh, was shut down and, and, uh, and simply uh, stopped working. So it was a perfect timing and uh, 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 we luckily managed it in time, although for the round table, we didn't have as much as many participants as we expected because of the uh, COVID measures. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, here is, I think, one of the, 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 the best things uh, in, the, in the project. Uh, uh, we managed to push two of the, the projects into the media, and one of them was presented uh, in the Czech TV prime time. And uh, the this was uh, Mrs. Vatsulikova speaking about her project. Um, and uh, similarly, uh, the other girl from the Technical University of Brno uh, presented her project in the Brno TV. Uh, one regional news. I think it was a great experience for both girls because you know they had to sort of justify their project and and talk about it uh, uh, so the general public understands it. Next slide, please. So if we uh, evaluate, I think it was a great experience for students uh, because you know they were sort of uh, they could run a project of uh, of their own. They were responsible for management, administration, finance, cooperation, and outreach. Uh, and we also encouraged them to involve uh, a number of stakeholders. I think it was again for the first time they had to communicate with public bodies, governmental organizations. They many of the projects involved schools, and they they explain you know kids and 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 um, pupils you know. What are they doing? And also involve them in the in the research, and they also uh, share the results with the colleagues and the, the city officials. And one of the items uh, also we requested that the the uh, the project uh, will contribute to uh, their uh, or will be part of their thesis, either the master's thesis or the doctoral thesis. And from our own perspective, uh, I think we we received a very positive feed, feedback from both students, supervisors, and also universities. And um, uh, we managed to keep in touch with the students and uh, have them involved in other Orion activities. And that's it. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Michael. Great. If Sorry can... for the technical problem. <laughs> Don't worry. Right, well, let's bring Iris back as well and have a little um, discussion about uh, further. If you've got any questions, please, we'd love to hear from you in the Q&A, so please post them in, in there. Right, let's, um, so we've obviously got to two different things, awards and, um, and funding. Um, Michael, are you going to continue with these funding schemes? Um, what would you, if yes, are you going to, what, you, what would you improve? Would you do anything differently? Uh, well, yes, we would like to continue uh, because uh, I think it is necessary to uh, to uh, keep introducing the open science to students because uh, they will become the future researchers and uh, obviously if they are going to apply for any funding from, I don't know, Horizon Europe, etc. Uh, I think the open science element they have to follow, it will be there and, and they have to know about it. So uh, uh, obviously, you know, the we are probably not able to repeat this one. We are very much dependent on the uh, either local regional 
national or European financing. So uh, we see what the, the conditions are. We have to all the time adjust it to meet the, you know, the, 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 the sponsor's uh, request. But definitely uh, we have learned a lot and, and if possible, uh, we shall continue in, 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 in this manner. Great, thank you. And Iris, what about you? Are you going to continue? Yes, there is a Planet a second edition. In we don't know exactly if in this year or next year because the COVID nineteen it's a hard thing here. <laughs> so we are very busy, and that's a little problem. But uh, we absolutely continue uh, with the with this line. And for me, the the improvement uh, it would be in the line to um, uh, to do more with the videos uh, received by the health research institutes. Maybe some 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 citizen evaluation about this with these videos, uh, some citizen evaluation in the social media or something to improve uh, and to foster the citizen participation in the evaluation of the uh, RRA health awards. Right. Great. Thank you. And um, it'd be interesting to say, so have what way sort of the awards or the funding benefit participants in the long run? Have they opened up other new opportunities for them at all? Can you think of any examples, Michael? Uh, well, uh, I think it uh, it was the the idea of you know public uh, being involved in the evaluation of the project. It was the first time we we used this approach. And I think we have to improve it a little bit to get, you know, larger audience to evaluate the project. Maybe, you know, we we find a, a better channel to to communicate it to the uh, scientific community or, or, or public. Uh, and uh, we would definitely like to to improve this. OK, and Iris, have you sort of have you have they sort of created new opportunities for those partic for participants at all? Well, I think that the great opportunity for the participant in, is to foster the implementation of RRA in these uh, institutions. Uh, that means uh, they, they need to know to to they need to uh, com to acquire uh, the RRA is something important to continue to uh, doing that. And uh, I think that the best uh, the best way is uh, with this uh, prizes with these awards. So uh, we need the health research institutes understand that RRA it's a, a great opportunity and also this is a um, a good line for the ISTI that they that they have to uh, promote and promote and practice. So would you say so so awards are a sort of good motivational tool to do more RRI? Yeah, it's a it's a motivation, but <laughs> but it's also um, an advice, uh, um, an advice, and and also it's a it's a line uh, uh, that they, that they have to uh, to to follow. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. And um, so, what would your top tips be for you know setting up the a funding call or a or an award, for example? What would you suggest what's best things to what do you need to take into consideration what's the to, who'd like to go first michael uh, hmm. well uh well we hope to have enough uh, funds from re uh, various resources to continue our activities and and uh, really we are in uh well, the good thing is that we sort of extended our portfolio in terms of the uh, uh, students and pupils we work with. So hopefully they will know about us. And if we organize uh, such uh, event in the future, there will be a lot of applicants. So, so um, the, the more talented students we have, the better for the you know, region and, and the welfare and, and, and for us in general. And Iris, anything from you? Your final top tips? I mean, yeah. Well, uh, to um, to foster the RRA uh, in Spain is a, it's an important thing because uh, we need uh, to understand that RRA it, that RRA it's something uh, to stay to to rest here, and and we have to 
uh, implementing science. And uh, the best way is uh, to, to do that understanding in the first for the researchers and uh, at the same time for the financial uh, agencies as, as ISTE, for example. Great. Okay, well, thanks very much to both of you. Um, again, if you've got, if anyone wants to find out more, there's lots of links in the chat that you can. Um, we've got um, some. Hold on, that we've got some Q and A's here. Um, we've got a good so a question here. Would sorry, we'll bring back the panelists. Would the panelists agree that there are many aspects of Orion activities that can be applied to fields other than the life sciences? If so, might there be a possibility of a key lessons for RI and all? Um, science and technology fields paper on your site after this conference. Anyone, can you see the Q&A? Anyone would like to answer that? Iris, do you want to come on to that then? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, we are uh, trying to, to write a paper about uh, what is the participation of uh, research and funding uh, agencies in Europe uh, and what are doing uh, related to RRA and and we hope to we hope to to finish that that's our okay that's thanks our um and Michael um one we've got another question I don't don't know whether you feel in position to answer it it says one of the main constraints from a researcher's side is implementing uh, of implementing RRI's time limitations have you got any suggestions to improve or overcome that at all hmm. no okay well it it takes a lot of time yeah well and a lot of patience and a lot of explaining, you know, I, I, I can't, un, can't answer in a better way, probably. Okay, I, um, perhaps that's a question um, we can also um, tackle in the next session where we're actually going to be talking about the um, lessons learned as, as well. So before we move on to that, um, we have a one more question in the mentee for you all. Um, we would really like to know, have you got any similar funding calls or award schemes for open science and RRI in your country? And if so, what kind? Um, here, if you could go to Menti again, you've got the code in the chat. Perhaps you could um, let us know if when you um, when you type it in, if you could let you know your country or region so we get a sort of a picture from of where um, where the funding calls or award schemes are. Let's just find out whether the other kind of funding and award schemes out out there. Perhaps there aren't. Perhaps we need more of them. And if you don't, let us know that too. So if you're not aware of some, let, um, let us know too. Okay, so in Denmark, yep, yeah, no, not to your knowledge, but we need it. No idea, yeah. So obviously, indicating that it'd be good to have more of these kind of activities. No, nope. more citizen science, right? 